One one Milwaukee and the Cubs on a rainy Saturday. They are attending to the infield here. Will be slightly delayed before the seventh inning starts. And the two starting pitchers have been on top of their game. Yeah, and then one kind of feeds the other. One goes out there and has a quick inning. The other one's right back out on the mound. So it's a good way to maintain your rhythm. And uh, Hamels has been really aggressive with his tempo. Yeah, this is about the only thing that has slowed these guys down yeah. today. Rub some dirt on it, Anthony. Hey, count on Chicago's most accurate radar. Live Doppler 7 Max, the most advanced technology, only on ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Tough part of the order here, and Hamels is going to get Yelich on one pitch. Talk about Yelich frequently uh, last year in this about how he likes to swing at that first pitch. He's done a lot of damage on all, all but on this occasion, it's kind of stress free for Hamels. One pitch to the most, at least one of the most dangerous hitters in the league, and boom, one out. Strike out and a foul out for Aguilar. And a wide one. Yeah, I mentioned the last time he was up there, you know, he was initially going to be the, the platoon part of the tandem at first base, and he was supposed to play against lefties. And he was playing against lefties and righties a good bit. But he has really struggled against left handed pitching this year, hitting 091 coming into this game at just three hits. Two of those three. For home runs. Not sure if he's going to bother putting his helmet back on or not. I guess he is. He's got a lot of personality. He has a lot of fun on the diamond. Now more can relate because Albert's double that scored the tying run was not hit that hard. That's one of the paradoxes of baseball. What makes the game so interesting is that if Albert had hit his ball hard, it might not have allowed Bodie to score. And if Aguilar doesn't crack his bat, he probably lines to the center fielder for an out. Just Presents yet another double play opportunity. And all who's taken walks both times today. And when you bounced into as many double plays as the Brewers have, you start thinking about starting a base runner. But Aguilar doesn't run well at all, and you got a lefty on the mound. So if you play hit and run, and Grandall comes up empty, Aguilar's an easy out. Set. Here's his 1 1. Change up missed. Randall has been in no hurry to swing the bat today. He has walked both times. This will be pitch 100 for Cole. 2 and 2. Will Ryan Braun be available for one pinch hit plate appearance today? We'll find out later. He's got a sore hamstring. 
They were scratched from the original lineup. What that will likely do is if Joe has a left handed reliever in the game late they will probably want a righty up in the bullpen just in case. Craig Council uses Braun. There's a ground ball. They will not be able to turn to Bodie will get Grandall. And Aguilar at second base with two down. Brewers without a plate appearance with a runner in scoring position. Every time they've gotten guys on, they've been out on double plays. Perez hit the solo homer with nobody on. And that's, I think, why Contreras went out there. They've got to make sure they're on the same page yeah. with the signs. Yeah. Mike Moustakis. A one hopper to Rizzo. Hamels to the bag. And it's still one to one. Today's seventh inning stretch is presented by Mercedes Benz. The best or nothing. Attention to the outfield video boards. for some hands-on training to help you take off in as little as a year? Midwest Technical Institute offers a variety of programs in growing industries like mechanical trades, allied health, cosmetology, and truck driving. We offer daytime and evening classes, and for those who qualify, financial aid and placement services are available. Earn the qualifications and certifications that you need. Get your life moving and enroll today at midwesttech.edu. Midwest Technical Institute. Hands-on, take off. In your busy world, you still need to look and feel your best. Burt Cleaners offers free delivery to your front door, your place of business, or at one of our many locations, even after hours. We are making looking great even easier for you. Family owned and operated since 1946. We work hard to earn your trust every day. Our highly skilled team has built a reputation for service and quality work. You have counted on Burt for years because Burt delivers. We are back. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. Davies in the bottom of the seventh. Coaxes a swing and a miss from Contreras. Starter still in there. has gone seven. Maybe he's trying to get through seven. Let's see if it off the back foot. Nice adjustment by Arcia there. He started to lay back then realized that probably wasn't going to work out. And ultimately came in and got the short hop. This is that one that down and away you try to pull. And this is what Wilson did a lot of last year, especially in the second half of the season. This year he's been so much better about going uh, alley to alley and driving the ball in the air. Contreras always busts it very hard down the line.
want to make sure you do that on a day like today because nothing's routine when it's kind of sloppy and wet. Going into today, only Ricky Bonus in 1994, Tyler Thornburg in 2013 with a lower Brewers ERA through seven starts of a season. And right now, Davies at 1.54 through six and a third. His 3 0 on Schwarber is a strike. Kyle swung into 3 0 his last time up and he fouled out to the catcher. So I think Davies knew he had a pretty clear lane there. Jeremy Jeffress was on the injured list the last time we saw the Brewers. That's ball four. That is the first walk issued by Davies. Here comes David Bodie. Craig Council, and he will make a change. And Davies, says, look on his face, says it all. He says, what, what do I got to do, man? <laughs> to earn your trust, I got a buck fifty ERA, Craig. This call to the bullpen is brought to you by Lakeside Bank. Lakeside Bank, it's about time. One-one in the seventh. Get ready for summer at Nissan's Summer of SUV sales event and save big on road with intelligent around view monitor. Plus, save on our full SUV lineup. Get total possible finance savings of $65.83 on Murano. More people are switching to Ram than ever before because Ram gives you more power, more payload, more towing, more than any other pickup is capable of. And we've got the most awarded truck in America, so you can get on to bigger things. The all-new Ram 1500 and new Ram 3500. Hurry in for big deals during the Ram Bigger Things sales event. Right now, well-qualified lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2019 Ram 1500 for $289 a month. The pitcher, the catcher, the home run hitter, every player performing a special role on their team to outperform their competition. It's the same at Zeglin's, where the sales staff, service technicians, and delivery specialists are all MVPs. When you need appliances, we're your local family team. Zeglin's, your hometown, our hometown. Get ready for summer at Nissan's Summer of SUV sales event and save big on road with intelligent around view monitor. Plus, save on our full SUV lineup. Get total possible finance savings of $65.83 on Murano. Right-hander Jeremy Jeffress will make his 10th appearance since coming off the injured list. Right shoulder injury put him on the IL. Reinstated April 16th. He was an All Star last year. Must have been 129 ERA and 73 relief appearances. Yeah, they started the year without Jeffress and Corey Knable. He's not expected to pitch this season. Bodie takes a strike. Enable Tommy John surgery. The pitch low. See Tyler Glass now has a forearm injury. Mm -hmm. Could be a four to six weeks. That's a big blow to the Rays. A fly ball out in the right. Yelich will put a glove on it. Two down, Schwarber still at first. And still pretty early, but it looked like Glass now was headed to the All-Star game with the start he had. Now Mora knocked in Bodie with a two-out double in the fifth.
Short lead by Schwarber. Knocked down by Grandall to keep him at first. Chris mixes it up more than most late inning relievers. There's a good number of curveballs and changeups to complement his fastball. Fastball velocity has been down a click or two this year from what we saw last year. Two and one. Daniel Descalzo on deck for Hamels. Yeah, we're frustrated on two fronts there. One that it was called a strike, and two that he didn't swing at it because that's his pitch. Elevated heater. Now he gets both his top and bottom of the zone called on him. Time to step out, take a couple practice swings, and clear your mind. Joe simply tells Eric Cooper down. Jeffress works from the far first base side of the rubber. A look at the runner. And home and it's low. Schwarber will get a 3 2 2 out head start. Aguilar playing behind him. Swing and a miss to end the inning. Cubs a strand one. It's one one as we head to the eighth. Pizza with Pepsi. Delicious. Come enjoy family fun and friendly competition all year round at the new Spirit Hollow Shankopotamus Golf Academy. Powered by Top Tracer Range, Spirit Hollow's indoor-outdoor range shows the results of every shot. After golf, enjoy great food and beverages at the newly expanded Lambos, where you'll find a warm, cozy atmosphere and 48 big screen TVs to watch your favorite sporting event. Reserve your spot at the new Shankopotamus Golf Academy today for great family fun and social engagement. Spirit Hollow, Iowa's number one golf entertainment destination. Not all tech is created equal. The all-new 2019 Nissan Altima has advanced tech that Camry doesn't. Altima can see two cars ahead to help avoid a potential collision, connect to your smartphone easily, and Altima can instantly react to changing weather conditions with intelligent all-wheel drive. Guess there's some places Camry just can't go. Get here today for a low $239 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 14 models. Nissan Altima. Impossibly smart. I just want to see how Rafael is doing. I really think you should back off for a while. Shane the Virgin. Final season continues Wednesday at 9, 8 central. A full hour of Family Guy. Weeknights at 5 on the Quad Cities CW. This call to the pen is brought to you by Lakeside Bank. Lakeside Bank, it's about time. It is Carl Edwards, Jr. One one tie. And Travis Shaw is going to bat for Perez.
Carl recently returned from a stint at Triple A Iowa. Two scoreless innings in that Miami series, and he got the win on Wednesday. Scoreless 11th that night. Shaw has been swinging and missing a bunch, batting just 172. Trying to figure some things out. Two and one. Talking with reporters before the game yesterday, he said, I'm open to anything. Three and one. Always had a pretty decent walk rate. He is striking out at a 31% clip. By far a career high. And pulls that one foul. One of Edwards' uh, great strengths has always been his ability to get that cutting fastball in on the hands of a left handed hitter. Ooh, tough to barrel that up and keep it fair. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Good comeback. Count on the team you trust. Anchors Alan Krzyzewski and Cheryl Burton. Meteorologist Cheryl Scott. And sports with Mark Greco, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Gamble has walked and grounded out. In there for Ryan Braun today. We play through the rain on this Saturday afternoon. In on the hands, it's 0-2. Gamble's got kind of a Game of Thrones look about him. Be out there slaying somebody. Dragging around a big piece of metal. <laughs> Is that man a spear? And a shield. on a 1-2 from Edwards. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. Shaw before him. He can't lay off. That high fastball looks so good on its way to home plate. And done for Edwards. His spot due to lead off. The bottom of the eighth. Trying to put away Arcia. Line shot at Hayward. That was an 0-2 pitch. Might have been a quote mistake, but it worked out. Middle of the eighth, one to one. Every year, Team Rubicon enlists the help of veterans to provide relief to communities affected by natural disasters. Do it for those who need your help. Mountain Dew is proud to support the efforts of Team Rubicon. Let's do. 
iPhone XR has portrait mode. It lets you focus on what you love, bringing out the beauty in the everyday. Switch to U.S. Cellular, and it's on us. No trade-in required. Glad you like your new iPhone, hon. Uh -huh. Let's get mulch. Cool shot. Oh, thanks. Honey, mulch! <laughs> Say mulch. Mulch. Oh, yeah. Make every day extraordinary with iPhone XR. Switch to U.S. Cellular, and it's on us. No trade-in required. Fighting for fairness isn't just a slogan. It's what we do every day. RSH Legal had the experience and resources I needed. Tim walked me through what to expect. They believed us. Yeah, and that's a big thing. They truly feel for their clients. And it was the best decision I made. I was glad I had Tim to help me take care of all the legal issues, and all I had to do was concentrate on getting healed up. We look at, at them as family. RSH Legal, fighting for fairness. Set my goals, like a goal, hit the switch. Work, 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 check Do it, it up big. the checklist. Bigger. Hit it. Because there are those who don't and those who do. Let's do. You took my family away from me. Now watch me take yours. Jerry Springer. Weekdays at 3 on the Quad Cities CW. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Cubs, brought to you by Ford, inviting you to visit your local Ford store or buyfordnow.com. Tomorrow with the Brewers, off Monday, then on to Cincinnati for a series with the Reds, our first look at that Cincinnati ball club. Stockis goes from third to second to accommodate Shaw. Plays third. Jeffress at the final two outs of the seventh. And he faces pinch hitter Daniel Descalzo. Bottom of the eighth, one to one. Hamels and Davies were both terrific. This game will be decided by the bullpen of both teams. Backdoor breaking ball misses. So many games are these days decided by the bullpens, but typically pitching a lot more than they will today if this one ends in regulation. Hamels went seven, Davies went six and a third. Six hits, one run allowed by Davies. He walked one, struck out five. Hamels three hits, one run, three walks, five punch outs, lowered his ERA to 3 0 8. Hit hard, but right at the shortstop, Arcia. The Scalzo lines out. That's a bit of bad luck. Yep. Arcia knows that. He just did the same thing on 0-2. He lined to right to end the top of the inning. Pitch to Hayward is right down the middle. This game could come down to these wet field conditions. A bad grip on the ball, maybe a slip by an outfielder going after a base hit. Yeah, two and one. Right. Again, you really want to bust it out of the batter's box because you could turn a single into a double even if the outfielder plays it right because they're going to have to play it tentatively for fear of having a, a slip and blow out in the outfield. Shot of first, and he gets him.
take the latest news, weather, and video with you wherever you go this weekend. Download the ABC7 Chicago News app today. Cubs looking for another last at bat win on this homestand. Bryant provided it on Monday night. Beat the Marlins. Check that Tuesday. He hit a home run Monday. It was Tuesday that he hit the game ending shot. The left hander is up in the Brewer bullpen. He'll probably get Rizzo. If uh, KB reaches here, I assume KB is looking to swing here on 3 0. This call to the pen is brought to you by Lakeside Bank. Lakeside Bank, it's about time. Eighth inning, one to one. We'll be right back. Delicious. Do you want a truck that does one thing or a truck that does them all? A truck that's skilled enough to be all seeing, smart enough to be all knowing, strong enough to be all powerful. The all new Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. Come in now during the Ram Spring sales event. Get an average 9,900 in total values on select 2019 Ram 1500 models in dealer stock. This is not one of those crossover pretender SUVs. This SUV has best-in-class all-weather capability and up to 31 miles per gallon highway with a name earned through miles of mud, water, and snow. This is the legendary Jeep Cherokee. Celebrate Jeep Freedom Days with no payments for 90 days and $500 additional bonus cash on our best-selling vehicles. Or get 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 bonus cash on all 2019 Jeep Cherokee models. Two down, runner on, eighth inning tie game. Left-hander Alex Claudio has been a busy man. Yeah, hey, there's the power arm out there from the left side for the Brewers. Claudio, a finesse, single ball type pitcher. A one one record of 386 ERA on for the 23rd time already. League bats 206 against him. Fastball topping out in the 86 87 mile per hour range and it's always a sinker a real good change up currently setting the pace in the majors with his 23rd appearance Bryant the runner at first and the pitch on Rizzo first matchup between Claudio and Rizzo ball one. He 
got hit. And the go ahead run is now in scoring position and the batter will be Javier Baez. Bell may be trying to argue that Anthony was hanging over the inside corner of the plate. Comes Craig Council. I think that the Bell saw all that, all that uh, upper body turn from Anthony. Claudio thought that maybe Anthony was well, pointing down at his feet, actually, saying he's out of the batter's box. Looks like Council is going to make another change after. He gets an explanation from Eric Cooper as Eric Thames is already in the outfield. He'll play left, it appears. And this call to the bullpen is brought to you by Lakeside Bank. Lakeside Bank. It's about time. Looks like it'll be Corbin. Pizza? With Pepsi. Delicious. Come enjoy family fun and friendly competition all year round at the new Spirit Hollow Shankopotamus Golf Academy. Powered by Top Tracer Range, Spirit Hollow's indoor-outdoor range shows the results of every shot. After golf, enjoy great food and beverages at the newly expanded Lambos, where you'll find a warm, cozy atmosphere and 48 big screen TVs to watch your favorite sporting event. Reserve your spot at the new Shankopotamus Golf Academy today for great family fun and social engagement. Spirit Hollow, Iowa's number one golf entertainment destination. Not all tech is created equal. The all-new 2019 Nissan Altima has advanced tech that Camry doesn't. Altima can see two cars ahead to help avoid a potential collision, connect to your smartphone easily, and Altima can instantly react to changing weather conditions with intelligent all-wheel drive. Guess there's some places that Camry just can't go. Get here today for a low $239 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 14 models. Nissan Altima, impossibly smart. Chicago Cubs baseball on ABC 7 is being brought to you by Southwest Airlines low fares no hidden fees that's transparency Hyundai by your local Chicago and Northwest Indiana Hyundai dealers test drive a Hyundai today by Xfinity stay connected to your team with Xfinity the exclusive internet provider of the Chicago Cubs and by Mercedes Benz the best or nothing. Corbin Burns now pitching. Yelich goes right to left and Thames now in right. And the Cubs have two on, two down, eighth inning for Javi Baez in a 1 1 tie. Real ugly numbers there you see for Corbin Burns. Most of those compiled while he was a starter. Made four starts and absolutely got shellacked before transitioning back to the bullpen where he found success last year. Here's the pitch to Baez outside on a fastball. Baez with a big Mother's Day extra innings game ending homer to beat the Nationals a few years ago. Swing and a miss. Obviously wants to get something big done here. Chance to provide a potential winning blow. Here's one from Mother's Day 2016. Blake Trinan. A stroke running with him between third and home. It became a great Sports Illustrated cover shot. Back to back sliders from Burns. Grandall probably contemplating two options here slider further out, fastball way up.
run ball has been a big issue for Burns. He's allowed 11 in 23 and a third innings of work. slider to end the threat and we head to the ninth inning in a 1 1 deadlock. All suits are on sale now at Syndicate Hub Finer Menswear. Find a suit for any occasion in all sizes, styles, and colors with free expert tailoring. Shop now at Syndicate Hub, just off 53rd and Jersey Ridge in Davenport. When you're serious about planning for your financial future, trust the professionals at Nelson Corp. to lead you through the process. You've heard the advice, the market is down now, but it'll come back. It always does, right? Hope is not an investment strategy. At Nelson Corp., we build portfolios that adjust to specific risks. Are you prepared for the risks that will come? Put the Nelson Corp. Wealth Management Team to work for you with offices in Clinton, Dubuque, and the Quad Cities. When I was young, I wanted to be a superhero, someone who could save the day. Right now, I could really use one. We often measure things in life by how grandiose they are. But throughout my journey, it's the little things that have given me the most hope. What do you think? I love it. See? We've got this. So I thank this team of superheroes for giving that to me. The Harbinger's back. It's infecting all of Hilltown. This really is the end. We must face it together. Charmed. All new this Sunday at 9, 8 central on The CW. Why rent when you can purchase a new suit for nearly the same cost? We take this stress out of wedding shopping with the latest trends and free tailoring. Syndicate Hub Finer Menswear. Just off 53rd in Jersey Ridge in Davenport. Here's of the game brought to you by your local Chicago and Northwest Indiana Hyundai dealers, the starting pitchers. Yeah, good Fabulous. work. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about their pitchability earlier in the ball game, and it was on full display here today. Fastball command, a good mix of off-speed pitches, in out, very unpredictable, giving uh, the ground balls when they needed them. Not so much about situational hitting, but situational pitching exists as well, and both guys really got it done here today. This call to the pen is brought to you by Lakeside Bank. Lakeside Bank, it's about time. It is an ex-brewer, Brandon Kinsler. Yeah, and Brandon Kinsler has been a big part of the uh, Cubs bullpen so far this year. On for the 17th time, he's pitched to a 2.16 ERA, 17 strikeouts against just two walks so far for the sinker baller. Yeah, that's been really important for a bullpen that has walked too many at times. Thames hit a couple of home runs in that series at Miller Park in early April, just into the game on defense. And it's 2 and 0, oh and Brandon having a little issue with his landing spot. Seen Josh Hader appear in this series. And we wonder if Craig Council will now save him. Or if and when the Brewers get a lead, would he use him in a tie game? We'll find out. Three and one. C Shack on the left, Ryan on the right. That is a leadoff walk. So well, the ratio has been good for Brandon. He feels a leadoff walk here in the ninth. And it brings up Kane. Yeah, in the first couple, he was having a hard time with his delivery, catching a cleat, I think, on the, the downslope of the mound. 
And he's still out there doing a little grooming. Fifth time they put the leadoff man on base. Well, situation that's got double play written all over it here. Well, it did the first four times. Uh, Kane hits it on the ground a lot. Now he runs pretty well, obviously, but he hits it on the ground a lot. Kinsler is an extreme ground ball pitcher. So again, does Craig Council contemplate some kind of a hit and run? Brewers bats have been held to three hits. One was the Perez homer. The other two were singles. Kane and Aguilar. That's it. There's the double play ball. Little bobble. Got him at first. Double play number five turned by the Cubs here this afternoon. It's like the Globetrotters just having a little fun. Let's pop it up in the air before we flip it over there to Javi. Oh, man, this wet field. No such thing as routine. So Kinsler gets that ground ball. And a job well done. Kyle Ryan coming in. And you see the Cubs. And Cole Hamels starts turning all kinds of double plays. Joe wants the lefty against Christian Yelich when we come back. Get ready for summer at Nissan's Summer of SUV sales event and save big on road with intelligent around view monitor. Plus, save on our full SUV lineup. Get total possible finance savings of $65.83 on Murano. I love imagining that new truck smell. The Iowa Lottery Silverado Scratch Game has top prizes of $50,000. And if you don't win, play it again in the Summer of Silverado promotion for a chance to win a cash prize of $5,000 or one of four fun-riding, stuff-hauling, rock-and-rolling, fully-loaded Chevy Silverados. New truck smell? You bet. In your busy world, you still need to look and feel your best. Burt Cleaners offers free delivery to your front door, your place of business, or at one of our many locations, even after hours. We are making looking great even easier for you. Family owned and operated since 1946. We work hard to earn your trust every day. Our highly skilled team has built a reputation for service and quality work. You have counted on Burt for years because Burt delivers. Delicious. Two outs, nobody on Christian Yelich batting. And the Cubs' fourth pitcher of the day is Kyle Ryan. Ryan, no wins, no losses, a 415 for 14 appearances. Worked in the ball game yesterday, a third of an inning allowed a hit, a couple of runs, one earned. The hit was a leadoff double by Christian Yelich into the alley in left center. It's an opportunity for a little redemption against the reigning MVP. It's not gotten the ball out of the infield today. Punch out a couple grounders to first. Well, if this game is decided by a wet track, we would have a reigning MVP today, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Coming in is Elmora, and he's got it. And the Cubs now with a chance to win it in the last of the night. B 
sales event and save big on road with Intelligent Around View Monitor. Plus, save on our full SUV lineup. Get total possible finance savings of $65.83 on Murano. I love imagining that new truck smell. The Iowa Lottery Silverado Scratch Game has top prizes of $50,000. And if you don't win, play it again in the Summer of Silverado promotion for a chance to win a cash prize of $5,000 or one of four fun-riding, stuff-hauling, rock-and-rolling, fully-loaded Chevy Silverados. New truck smell? You bet. In your busy world, you still need to look and feel your best. Burt Cleaners offers free delivery to your front door, your place of business, or at one of our many locations, even after hours. We are making looking great even easier for you. Family owned and operated since 1946. We work hard to earn your trust every day. Our highly skilled team has built a reputation for service and quality work. You have counted on Burt for years because Burt delivers. Get ready for summer at Nissan's Summer of SUV sales event and save big on road with Intelligent Around View Monitor. Plus, save on our full SUV lineup. Get total possible finance savings of $65.83 on Murano. In the Battle of Baxter, fatherhood is an all-out brawl. There's something he likes even more than talking about football. Oh, Lord, strike me blind. And remember, there is no surrender. This isn't over. Over. Last man standing. Weeknights at 6 and 10 on the Quad Cities CW. Brian in the air deep. Is it enough? It's gone! Ball game over! A drive out of the left. Tonight. Got a fun homestand. Six and two through eight. First place on the line here today. Burns to Contreras. 0 and 1. From the wind. Late swing on 96. Chassin and Lester, the matchup tomorrow evening. Two. Swing and a miss. Four strike three. Brings on Schwarber. And Burns. One of their top pitching prospects prior to last year. And you can see why he's got a plus arm. You can see why he was vulnerable to long ball when he was in the rotation earlier. And the Cubs got him for three in a start in Milwaukee in that first series there. That's a good heater he just threw by Contreras, but that was a right down the middle heater, too. <laughs> what swing of the bat ends the ball game? That's the by my count the third straight 3 0 count yeah. for Schwarber yeah. right fouled out on a 3 0 in the fifth walked in the seventh. 
And they would have no qualms letting him swing here either. For Schwarber to accept his walk. And now Bodie with the chance. Short lead at first by the runner. is looking for a double play ball a worm burner Frank Burns eats worms <laughs> Burns eats worms Cubs about hit the Brewers 6 3 Breaking ball is probably more of a ground ball pitch for Burns than his fastball. Cody bounced into a double play in the second, singled to short in the hole in the fifth, and flew to right last time. Swing get a pitch right through the heart of the strike zone. It's going to create a little anxiety there in the uh, Brewer dugout. Bodie just missed ending this ball game. A little hair on that pickoff throw. Burns pitched 30 times at the big league level last year, all, all out of the bullpen, 38 innings and a 261 ERA. He's a, the right man at the right place. He picked up seven wins out of the pen. Yelich in left. And out toward the end of the bat. Two down. There's Almora. Trying to get this game into extras. Cubs trying to end it right here. A one one tie, two down, ninth inning. Foul strike. The Cubs don't win it here. I think they'll see Hader in the tent. The lineup turns over. Well, that's plenty of incentive. To get it done right here. It has picked up again, blowing in. Not very hard. Top of the zone. 
And that breaker, it's 0 and 2. Robert's got to be thinking everything's a strike today. Last time he was up there, Cooper called a couple of strikes on him. On him to the top of the zone, one that uh, might have been a little bit low. Mark Zagunas waiting on deck. He would hit for Ryan. To right, twisting out of play. Look promising off the bat. Oh, yeah, that would have ended it. Alas. Pitching dominated afternoon. The next offer, swing and a miss, and that will take us into the tenth. It's the Brewers one and the Cubs one. At RSH Legal, we fight for fairness for injured Iowans. My family and I are able to move forward now thanks to RSH Legal. Every time you go into the office and you wanted to talk to Tim, he was there, he was available. Presley helped immensely. He had the power to make me more confident when we were going. They made it as easy for me as they possibly could. And when you go to RSH Legal, they got you. They take good care of you. They're with you every step of the way. RSH Legal, fighting for fairness. They say April showers bring May flowers and puddles and sports. Springtime means it's time to get back outside. And getting back outside means more laundry. May is for Maytag and their laundry products built tough enough to handle spring. Don't miss our Maytag sale going on now. Shop Zeglin's today. Zeglin's, your hometown, our hometown. Are you ready for some hands-on training to help you take off in as little as a year? Midwest Technical Institute offers a variety of programs in industries like welding, pipe fitting, and HVAC. We offer daytime and evening classes, and for those who qualify, financial aid and placement services are available. Earn the qualifications and certifications you need at MTI. Get started. Enroll today at midwesttech.edu. Midwest Technical Institute. Hands-on, take off. We play on 10th inning from Wrigley Field. A 1-1 tie, and here's right-hander Steve Ciszek for the Cubs. Cubs bullpen so far today. Edwards, Kinsler, Ryan, all solid. Now Ciszek gets his turn. It's his 18th appearance. Steve 1-1 one one with a 3.18 ERA. scoreless outings in the series against the Marlins. Aguilar to start it. And he had 
headed for cover on this cold and damp day. He announced a paid crowd 39 598. And the tenth inning is underway. Have won both of their extra innings affairs. Must be colder because Aguilar is going up above the nose with the ski mask. Yeah. Now. Before he just had to pull down around his neck. Like last year, the Cubs have four games in hand on the Brewers, who have not had nearly as many off days early on. Full count. Milwaukee one and zero in extras. That extra. Inning game was last Saturday a week ago today 18 innings a crazy game against the Mets Brian Braun went six for eight the Mets took the lead in the 18th and then Braun won it in the bottom of the 18th there's Hader up in their bullpen leadoff man aboard well there's this double play ball going. <laughs> Grandall batting from the left side. And you see, he's really trying to keep his hands inside the ball so he can get it airborne. He's trying to shoot one to left center. Taking a peek around the field, trying to find the holes. Upper cut will play well on a ball down, but one letter high. Uppercut swing is not going to get it done. Well, the old baseball adage if you think you're going to hit into a double play strikeout has not gotten the Brewer hitters so far. Until now. Cishek strikes out Grandall. Well, that was a good look as he turned that ball over to get the movement running away from Grandall. Kane Yelich. Lostakis who's coming up. Perez and Arcia have all grounded into double plays today. Statcast AI is powered by AWS. As you see how the Cubs align against Mustakis. Up shallow left field. Baez will grab it. Two hands on him. Two down. Now the struggling Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 today. Aguilar were to get into scoring position if Council would run for him. He doesn't have many options. He's got backup catcher Pini and Ryan Braun, who didn't start today, it was a scratch because of the hammy. Braun's now on deck, so maybe a starting pitcher. Here's a 
about this time in the game when some of the starters will go up and put their spikes on just in case they're needed for an assignment like that. Very awkward hack and Shaw lost the grip. As I said before the game yesterday, very open with reporters. Just said, got to fix the swing, got to do it fast. Clearly at the end of his rope here with his early season struggles. Just stays alive. Strikeouts in the inning for Ciszek. Bottom 10. 1-1. One, one. Summer is here. Enjoy all the fun the season has to offer in a new Toyota. Take advantage of big savings on our most popular models, like the all-new RAV4, Stylish Highlander, Sporty Camry, and more. Right now, during the Summer Starts Here event, you can lease the adventurous all-new 2019 Toyota RAV4 for just $219 per month. Hurry in today. Your summer starts here. Get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Ready for this nightmare to end? We're not gonna let metahumans die. This is all my mistake, and I'm not gonna make another one. You took my family away from me. Now watch me take yours. No! The Flash, season finale Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. How many people have you killed? We come in peace. The Hundred. All new this Tuesday at 9, 8 central. The invitations say not to tell anyone. So it's a trap. I will kill you and your friends. We're getting out of this house of the devil. That's suicide. I refuse. The ascension is upon us. You're a nut. is a foot. What? Riverdale, season finale, this Wednesday at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. The drives of the game presented by Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. This was the go-ahead homer by Perez in the fifth. Bottom of that inning, two outs, and Elmore punching one out in the right center. David Bodie all the way from first scoring on a terrific slide at the plate. And those are the only runs to date. And the Cubs had a leadoff triple in the bottom half of the first by Jason Hayward. Tried to score on a ground ball from Bryant. That Arcia fielded and fired home just in time to get him. That was a huge play so early in the game. Had no idea how big it would be, but obviously. <laughs> In a 1-1 ball game, it was a difference maker. And speaking of difference makers, here comes one of the best weapons in the business, uh, Josh Hader, an all-star last year, a strikeout machine. He has fanned 41 in 18 and a third innings. His strikeout rate just under 60%. If he were to maintain that, would be the best in the history of the game. Uh, Raldis Chapman, a few years back, struck out 52% over the course of the season. So Mark Zagunas will face the lefty hater. With a little mound issue with that first delivery. Twenty-five. He's from Millersville, Maryland. Throw that fastball about ninety percent of the time. 
Yeah, I, I love this note. His first 47 pitches this season were fastballs. Top out at 98, average 95. And there's a lot of guys in the game that do that, but he's got different angles. He's got deception. Pitching to contact. He's not trying to sink it. He's trying to make you swing and miss. And a lot of those fastballs are up in the zone. They try to get ahead and then steadily climb the ladder and get you to swing at that high one. To lead off four. And here comes Hayward. Might think bunt here. But let me tell you, getting a bunt down against this guy is not easy. He shows and takes way high. Square early, set the bat at the top of the zone, and, and make sure you get a ball you can get on top of. Four seam fastball elevated with a lot of backspin. Easy to pop up, foul back. Got a piece of the bat. Would have been ball two. Could not get out of the way in time. Well, Pini is in there at catcher, too. I had not noticed. Same here. Good call. Well, that pitch could have been a strike, but mm -hmm. Pena was vacating, and he could not get the call. Chris Hook is the pitching coach, and he wants to chat. Maybe see something in the delivery. Maybe he's going to suggest, hey, you know what? You're having a hard time locating the fastball. Well, just maybe try to throw a slider, do something. Down and away. Here we go. Look like he said at the end. There hasn't been a need for uh, visits to the mound today. The pitchers have been so good. Gunis, the runner at first, nobody out. Tie game, tenth inning. Three and one. You tempted to take two, wouldn't you? See if you could throw two in a row over the way he's struggling. One, it's three and two. I'd be less tempted to take now. Yeah, especially <laughs> after you proved that one. That would put me in swing mode. Well, not me, but a real hitter.
Sharps trying to do something neither team has done all day. Score after the leadoff man reaches. Lined out. Out at first. Cubs might just challenge it. We're in the tenth. Even if it's 50-50. Well, we we're just having that conversation about fundamentals yesterday with uh, Doug Glanville and you know freeze on a line drive something you're always taught and the first base coach always reminds you in the heat of the moment though sometimes you're tempted He's out. and uh, yeah Zagunas is going to be out the theme of the day continues with double plays this one though not a ground ball but a line drive turns into two outs. And actually, I should should amend my comment. The Brewers did score in the fifth after a leadoff walk, but it was also after a double play. It was a two-out homer by Perez, so maybe Bryant can do that here. Foul to the top of the screen. And too bad for Hayward. He hit a liner. But right at Moustakis. Hader has recorded at least one strikeout in every appearance this year. And multiple strikeouts in all but one appearance. Well, a lot of times he's going more than an inning. But the numbers are uh, eye popping. 41 strikeouts, 18 in the third innings. He has allowed four home runs. It's a sign from his catcher Pena. Mm. QB got um, Conley right from the Marlins. The lefty was throwing 97. He turned him around the other day. Is supposed to be in and up a little bit. Looks like he tried to throw it 105. Slider. Hater will field. Throwing time to get Bryant. It takes us into inning number 11. One to one. Do you want a truck that does one thing or a truck that does them all? A truck that's skilled enough to be all seeing, smart enough to be all knowing, strong enough to be all powerful. The all new Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. Come in now during the Ram Spring sales event. Get an average 9,900 in total values on select 2019 Ram 1500 models in dealer stock. Come enjoy family fun and friendly competition all year round at the new Spirit Hollow Shank Eponymous Golf Academy. Powered by Top Tracer Range, Spirit Hollow's indoor-outdoor range shows the results of every shot. After golf, enjoy great food and beverages at the newly expanded Lambos, where you'll find a warm, cozy atmosphere and 48 big screen TVs to watch your favorite sporting event. Reserve your spot at the new Shank Eponymous Golf Academy today for great family fun and social engagement. Spirit Hollow, Iowa's number one golf entertainment destination. This is not one of those crossover pretender SUVs. This SUV has best-in-class all-weather capability 
and up to 31 miles per gallon highway with a name earned through miles of mud, water, and snow. This is the legendary Jeep Cherokee. Celebrate Jeep Freedom Days with no payments for 90 days and $500 additional bonus cash on our best-selling vehicles. Or get 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 bonus cash on all 2019 Jeep Cherokee models. Still tied, and Brad Brock will pitch. For the 17th time, he will pitch. Veteran right-hander, 3-0 with a 235. You walk more than you like, but the other numbers make up for it. He's only allowed eight hits and no long ones. He's punched out 17. You do all that, you can live with some walks. Pena, Arcia, Thames here for Milwaukee. Hader, the pitcher, moved into the fourth spot in the batting order. We've seen nine combined hits. And only two total runs. This again, much more reminiscent of the season series last year, which was dominated by excellent pitching. Well, here comes Pena. The bat for the first time in the series. Cubs have to win today and tomorrow to keep this run going of uh, having not lost a series since facing Milwaukee at the end of their opening road trip. Ball strike from Brock. Edwards, Kinsler, Ryan, Ciszek, Brock behind Hamels. You're going to say Ryan Seacrest there for a minute. They didn't think it was funny. <laughs> not enjoying the weather. But they're not leaving either. Pitch. It's high. Who's at the ready? Foul tip, strike three. Arcia, all for three. Double play, strikeout, line out. A waterlogged day here at Wrigley Field. That's going to look like he was going to do the old bail and whale there. Finally underway in St. Louis, scoreless bottom of the first after a lengthy rain delay. Robert Kuhl says homered for the Angels. 
been a little bit of a tear here lately, hasn't he? Recently got his 2,000th RBI, home run number 640 for Albert. Angels lead the O's 3-2 in the fourth. White Smith Jr. homered again. Actually, Albert's hit two. Give him 641. White Smith with his seven of the year. Foul pop to the seats. Tigers trying to close out the Twins in Minneapolis. Shane Green is working. And it's 5 3 Detroit. Xavier Cedeno just activated today out there with Chatwood getting ready. He's been looking for an off speed pitch there. It was an emergency hack to foul off that heater. White Sox lead the Blue Jays 4 to 1 in the eighth up in Toronto. in the air shallow right two down here's Thames it's Matt Albers in the Milwaukee bullpen the pitching matchup in LA tonight Walker Bueller for the Dodgers, Max Scherzer for the Nationals. Mike Freeman is uh, back in the big leagues, the ex Cub, with the Cleveland Indians in the lineup today in Oakland. Playing short, batting seventh. Deep center. Almora's back on it, and it's off the bottom of the wall. Thames just missed a homer by a couple of feet. A two out double here in the 11th. Yeah, we haven't seen that many outfielders backed up today. Thames puts a charge in this one. Albert does a real nice job getting it back in, but it's going to be two bases either way. Who's better than four? Off the base of the wall. So Brock will have to make a pitch to get Kane here with Yelich now on deck. out of play Brewers have had almost no chances with men in scoring position they're 0 for 1 and we're in the 11th inning Cubs are 0 for 4 yeah neither team has spent a whole lot of time in the red zone say what about the Almora hit well Bodie was technically not in the scoring position he was at first base now leave your feet in the infield keep the ball knock the ball down much wide of third still 0 and 2.
Thames bottom of your screen the go ahead runner. He's at second with two outs and a two strike count on Kane. the same page Cubs have plenty of mound visits available to them well, there are certain times where you want to pitch carefully to a hitter because you have a base open this would not be one of them you got Christian Yelich on deck got Kane down in the count two strikes Too cold for that gentleman. He's got a very fashionable sweater on, sleeves up. Reminds me of Ron Coomer. Coomer's probably not wearing socks today. <laughs> Gets through. Thames will advance to third. Not the end of the world, but you don't want to do that again. No, and uh, obviously you don't want to do it again. And the other thing it does too is it, it makes it a little tougher if you're the pitcher to to throw that chase breaking ball for fear it's going to happen again. That'll hold up. Schwarber makes a catch. Who oh. <laughs> is right? <laughs> They strand the go ahead run at third, still tied. Pizza with Pepsi. Delicious. Not all tech is created equal. The all-new 2019 Nissan Altima has advanced tech that Camry doesn't. Altima can see two cars ahead to help avoid a potential collision, connect to your smartphone easily, and Altima can instantly react to changing weather conditions with intelligent all-wheel drive. Guess there's some places Camry just can't go. Get here today for a low $239 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 14 models. Nissan Altima. Impossibly smart. Come enjoy family fun and friendly competition all year round at the new Spirit Hollow Shankopotamus Golf Academy. Powered by Top Tracer Range, Spirit Hollow's indoor-outdoor range shows the results of every shot. After golf, enjoy great food and beverages at the newly expanded Lambos, where you'll find a warm, cozy atmosphere and 48 big screen TVs to watch your favorite sporting event. Reserve your spot at the new Shankopotamus Golf Academy today for great family fun and social engagement. Spirit Hollow, Iowa's number one golf entertainment destination. Bottom 11. 1-1 one, one tie. Matt Albers takes over for Josh Hader. Yeah, I think they have to Brewers. The score to run. Hater's back out there. They didn't, so he's going to save Hater. Bring on Albers, the veteran right-hander, two and one, four fifty, the ERA, making his seventeenth appearance. He's been around a long time. Debuted with the Astros in two thousand six. Works primarily with a sinker and a slider. Some pretty good changeups from Albers too in the ball game yesterday. Interesting though that it's not Hader for at least Rizzo here, right? Yeah. It, my first thought was 
like he said, if, if you still lead, he's probably back out there. 19 pitches. Maybe Craig Council wants him available tomorrow. I just pull the plug today. And use him again tomorrow in a big spot. And let Albers start with a fresh inning. 2 0. All right, big boy. Pull out the driver. Change up. Perfectly placed. For just one old lousy run. Just one. Easier said than done. Ball four. Third straight reach for Rizzo. It brings up Baez. There'd be nothing lousy about one run here. It would win the game. Well, again, we talk about it all the time. Opportunity for redemption for Baez. He struck out three times and bounced into a double play today. The double play came with runners on first and second, as did his most recent strikeout. But all that goes away with one big swing of the bat. <laughs> you know the big swing is coming. The question is what, what will the result be? side in the air right side Thames charging in it drops everybody safe blue pit for Baez two on nobody out uh, if they're playing no doubles uh, and Thames really deep, especially in, for an off-field outfielder. You can understand it, though, because Baez hits the ball with a lot of, of authority that way. This one was in the air a long time, though. It seemed like he was going to be able to run under it. Catch probability, 99 percent so let's see if they can take advantage winning run at second base with no outs Shaw even with a bag at third inside move for Albers namely to see if Contreras would show bunt he did not They're not going to ask him to bunt here. If, if it's a bunt, it would be something he does on his own. They're going to ask him to drive in the winning run. I mean, that would be my guess because if he bunts, they probably walk Schwarber and set up a double play. Yep, that's, that's exactly what own. he did. That's, that's him. And that, I'm guessing Joe would prefer to see him swing away.
kick and a pitch swing and a miss. Certainly Craig Council knows he's giving up something defensively on days like this when he has Thames and Wright and Stock is second Aguilar at first they're not fleet of foot over there. That's why that bias ball dropped one and two. And, and the stock is I didn't see where he was right before the pitch but I'm sure he was playing Javi to pull. Yeah he did not have a play Thames was, was the only guy yeah. who had a shot. Guessing Yelich would have run that one down. See if Contreras can hang in there. Yeah, just kind of control the heartbeat. Don't let the moment get the best of you. Down by Pena. Two and two. Yeah, that was a stat cast note that I had earlier. 99% catch probability. Well, everything down below the knees. Two, two. To third. They get one. They get them both. Moustakis admitted in spring training the biggest challenge learning the position of second base was those turns. And he was able to hang in there with Baez breathing down his neck. Yeah, Javi does a real nice job get, getting into him here, but Moustakis still able to, to make the turn. Schwarber will be intentionally walked and they will face Bodie. David Bodie with yeah. two outs and the winning run at third. Our council not buying into the legend of David Bodie here. <laughs> I'm a big in some of these high leverage situations. Beat the Diamondbacks. On the last homestand, and then flew home. For the birth of his third child. He tried to bunt there as Schwarber took off for yeah, second. He's looking at the infield alignment, and he sees that big gaping hole on the right side. Figures, well, I can just push it out past Albers. One single game over. Schwarber takes second. No stolen base given. If he wanted to, he could just sit on second base. He cannot score. And two outs and a tie game. Brody held. Two and one.
Shaw's playing deep at third base. That's allowing Anthony to come a good ways down the line with the pitch. So ball in the dirt. Look for him to be aggressive. Schroeder is standing on second base. Bounce foul. I love what Kyle's doing here. I often talk about this. You know, sometimes in this situation, a guy at second, he'll get that big lead with two outs ready to go on contact. About the only way he could help his team is to try to get in a rundown, which you would not think would happen to allow the winning run to score. But again, that guy cannot score. He can only really make an out. So why risk slipping and getting picked off? Just hang out and watch the action. Mm -hmm. Uzo came sprinting down the line trying to distract Albers. Anxiety right here, man. 3 2, winning run on third base. Man. <laughs> it's funny Schwarber's chatting with Will Little at second base he, he stayed anchored to the bag and the, the other thing for a runner in that spot if you take off for third and you get hit by a ground ball you're out right and that's yeah. it so I think mm -hmm. he was asking Little if I stay on second base and he hits a rocket right at me am I out and I think the point is wherever a runner is if he impedes a fielder right that's when they call that guy out when you're in front of an infielder so I'm just trying to get all the rules straight you mean a hit by a batted ball correct on the move it looked like he and we'll ask him tomorrow it looked like he was asking little if I stay on second base and the ground ball hits me am I out. Now he'll run because you want to make sure you're not forced to end the inning. And Al Mora will try to win it. Great at bat by Bodie. Keep the line moving. A walk is as good as a hit. Same with a wild pitch or a pass ball or a hit batter or a catcher's interference. Picked up by Moustakis. They get him. Well, a lot could have gone wrong for the Brewers on that roller through the wet grass and the mud, but Moustakis makes the play, and we head to the 12th, still tied at one. Pizza with Pepsi. Delicious. 
Not all tech is created equal. The all-new 2019 Nissan Altima has advanced tech that Camry doesn't. Altima can see two cars ahead to help avoid a potential collision, connect to your smartphone easily, and Altima can instantly react to changing weather conditions with intelligent all-wheel drive. Guess there's some places Camry just can't go. Get here today for a low $239 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 14 models. Nissan Altima. Impossibly smart. Come enjoy family fun and friendly competition all year round at the new Spirit Hollow Shankopotamus Golf Academy. Powered by Top Tracer Range, Spirit Hollow's indoor-outdoor range shows the results of every shot. After golf, enjoy great food and beverages at the newly expanded Lambos, where you'll find a warm, cozy atmosphere and 48 big screen TVs to watch your favorite sporting event. Reserve your spot at the new Shankopotamus Golf Academy today for great family fun and social engagement. Spirit Hollow, Iowa's number one golf entertainment destination. Twelfth inning. As I said before, when the Brewers play extras, they don't mess around. They played 18 last weekend against the Mets. And here's Xavier Cedeno, who split last year between the White Sox and the Brewers. He'll make his Cub debut. Yes, he's been hovering around this area from the south side of Chicago to Milwaukee, now to the north side of Chicago. The left-hander was 2 0 last year with the 243 and 48 appearances. Came up with the Astros a few years back. He's bounced around a good bit since then. Also worked for the Nationals. So there's a lot of cutters and change-ups. Uh, yeah, if the if a Schwarber, if you're standing on the base, you get hit by the ball, you're out unless the ball has passed by an infielder. Right. Um, right. I, seen, I saw it called. Uh, Joe West called in a game at Dodger Stadium many many years ago. I was watching. They had the infield in. Uh, the base runner was hit by a ball, and everybody assumed out. And Joe said no. Nobody was in position. Nobody could have possibly made a play on that ball, so he's not out. So he'll face Yelich and some defensive changes for the Cubs. Bodie now at third. Bryant and right, Hayward to center, Almora is out, and Russell. Is it second? <laughs> Russell in the nine hole, Sedano in the eight spot. Okay. Formula today has been walk the leadoff man, get a double play ball. I wouldn't continue to count on that though. First reach by Yelich. And uh, here comes Joe. Be it for Cedeno. And he wants Tyler Chatwood against Jesus Aguilar.
Not all tech is created equal. The all-new 2019 Nissan Altima has advanced tech that Camry doesn't. Altima can see two cars ahead to help avoid a potential collision, connect to your smartphone easily, and Altima can instantly react to changing weather conditions with intelligent all-wheel drive. Guess there's some places Camry just can't go. Get here today for a low $239 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 14 models. Nissan Altima, impossibly smart. Do you want a truck that does one thing or a truck that does them all? A truck that's skilled enough to be all-seeing, smart enough to be all-knowing, strong enough to be all-powerful. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. Come in now during the Ram Spring sales event. Get an average 9,900 in total values on select 2019 Ram 1500 models in dealer stock. Baxter. Fatherhood is an all-out brawl. There's something he likes even more than talking about football. Oh, Lord, strike me blind. And remember, there is no surrender. This isn't over. Over. Last Man Standing. Weeknights at 6 and 10 on the Quad Cities CW. We are back. Top of the 12th. 1-1 one, one ball.